All right, guys, this one is 109 River Reach West. Super cute house, really weird flow. So this one's in Swansboro. And got a neighbor's, the neighbor's house is looking a little janky over there. The fence and the roof needs some work. It is on a crawl space. It does have dual zone. This should be on Swansboro City Sewer. Your taxes are going to be higher out here. Um, I have to look up what the taxes are in this one, but because you're you're technically in Swansboro, your taxes are going to be higher than what they would be, like let's say in Hubert or Jacksonville city limits. Nice long driveway. And when we go up, Justin, this is what you're going to see here, what I was talking about. So you walk in, there's no true foyer, kind of-ish. So you've got this sitting room here with a coat closet, but then you have this wall that divides the living room. So like, let me see if I can get a wide angle here. There we go. So why the builder would have done that unless it was for structural integrity that's completely beyond me. Okay, so we got a gas log fireplace. And then here's where that kitchen area is broken up that we were talking about. So you're probably looking at about two feet of counter on either side of the stove and maybe one foot of counter to the right of the sink. Probably a good four, four and a half feet there. And you do have a nice big dining area there. But of course you have a formal dining room over there, which we'll get to in a second. Cute little half bath. And there's gonna be a pantry right here small garage like there's really not a whole lot of storage space in this garage compared to the moonstone one but it's nice you know still the two-car garage and they've put these gray lvp floors in a little outdated on the chandelier but that's no big deal can fix that easy another coat closet over here. So that's that's kind of the flow of the downstairs. Carpet is in great condition, if not brand new. Okay, so this is what I meant when I, I was on the phone with you, Justin, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. So you get to the top of the stairs, and there's like this little area over here, not really I can't imagine what you would really use that for. And your master bedroom is immediately to the right. This is much smaller than the other master bedroom that we were looking at at Moonstone. Ceramic tile floors in here, the Whirlpool tub. Little sink shower and then there's another sink over there and then this would be the closet so you're looking at a really small closet space comparatively speaking and that's that's it for the closet I mean like that's that's the master bedroom closet in its entirety Yeah, that's it. So. We've got this little landing area up here that just seems to kind of wrap around. And as you pointed out in the pictures, the bedrooms look smaller. They are in fact smaller. 
closet. Also smaller. You've got a hall closet right there. Only one sink in this bathroom. Another small bedroom. Backyard is huge, by the way. So you'll see. And they've got these mini blinds too, which um, we're not gonna try to pull those. I don't wanna tear them down. Okay, we've already been in the bathroom. And then this is the last room over here. Oh yeah, there's also a laundry closet upstairs. So it's got the bifold doors instead of being an actual laundry room. And then this is the bonus room. Little closet. before I go down there so I can get this video uploaded to you guys while you're trying to make a decision. Now we're just gonna run out back real quick and take a look at that backyard. Oh. appear that the entire backyard is fenced in. So it's really more like they tied on to this neighbor's fence and that neighbor's fence. So they really have not put up their own fence. All right, and that one's 109 River Reach West.